Hey guys, Animation Nation here, and welcome to my fourth tutorial. This tutorial will pretty much be focused on making a simple maze game. Um, yes, everything I need is already pre-made over here, um, but that won't be a problem as I will explain what to do, like what all these symbols mean, and how to do it, and all that. Um, it's just pretty simple to do that. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a keyframe there, that would help. Um, um, where is it? There it is. So you just get a title for it. I just call mine Maze Game. You don't have to make that a, um, a symbol in here. You don't have to, I've just done that just to save a bit of time. <coughs> then you want this button here. You want to play. We want play here. So we have another text box, just create that, type and play, and just chuck that in here. You can make uh, the background a different color, you can do whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, I've just left it plain just for a simple, just to make this simple. Um, so what we're going to do is um, go F8, or if you're on a laptop, you can go Function F8, and it goes Convert to Symbol. Uh, so you have Movie Clip Button and Graphic. You want to choose Button and name that play or play button or whatever and click OK for that. Um, so you have that there. Um, and then just create insert a oops one. Insert a blank keyframe there. Go back, go to go here and go oh, this is not work. Um okay I'm not sure why it's not working. But either that or you can just go right click and go actions um, so what this will do is we'll get it to go to the next frame so you need to type in on bracket release bracket and then you want this symbol I'm not sh I'm not 100% sure what you call this symbol but you just add that in that's sort of like um, like an, a, an open and off switch uh, on off switch sorry um, so it sort of says this is what needs to happen. So you hit enter, and you see that that's there already. So you don't have to close it. So you go to and stop bracket to bracket semicolon. If you want to, just to be sure, you can click on that to see if it's right. And so there's nothing in the under errors, so that'll be fine. So when you if you open up your movie, oops. Part, just don't worry about that. I'll, I'll explain this later. Go play. Oh. Okay, so that's not going to work. Um, I'll explain why that's happening uh, towards the end of the video. Right, so next, in the second frame, is when is where you want to create your maze. So mine's pre-made here, so nothing really. So that doesn't matter. Um, just create your maze. It can be whatever you want. And when you finish making that, um, convert that to a symbol as well. Um, so again, F8, or you can just right click it. Make sure it's a button. Now, whatever you want. Um, and then you've got this rectangle here. It's right there. Place right there. And again, make it a symbol. Um, this registration here doesn't really matter with this, you can just keep it in the center. Alright, add another keyframe. But make sure it is a keyframe, not a blank keyframe. Go back to your second keyframe on your rectangle, go to actions, and you want um, on roll over with a capital O. On roll over and that symbol again, uh, go to, oh, no, sorry, that one, next frame, um, brackets, colon. Yep, so that's right, so what that will do, so when you start it, when you go over it, it'll go to the next frame, and so you want that up there, and go to the actions again, so you see that there's nothing there now. So on 
um, oops, roll over symbol um, go to and stop uh, five gone and then with the maze go to actions for that as well and go um, on roll over symbol again go to and stop four just like that create a blanky frame on frames four and five on frame four this would be like you the lost page so add another text box and have that you lost um, and underneath that have another one that has try again on it and so um, you want this to be a button as well um, uh, actions on release symbol go to and stop frame two colon and then the last frame is of course the win page so you won play again actions and again this is a button as well so just make sure you do that um, on release symbol go to and stop oops ah one bracket colon um, if you're wondering what this means basically means when there is on so basically means when this happens so when um, it gets released so when you, you know, when you click and then you Oh, it goes off. It should go to and stop on frame one. Um, other ones on there. I'll show you some other ones. So you got like press, release, release outside, roll over, roll out. So you've got a whole number of different things on here. They all do different things. So when it, the other one roll over, so when it rolls over, something will happen. So just. Just like that. Alright, so now, just like that, very simple, very easy, you're good to go. So, oh, no, sorry, no, you're not, sorry, my bad. Um, <clears throat> insert a new layer. That would be actually be layer two for you guys. On here, just actions, just put in there, stop, two brackets together, colon. So what that will do is um, it will stop it. So before how I was showing it, and it kept on um, not really glitching, but it showed um, the first frame, second frame, first frame, second frame, and kept going back and forth. So what this will do is it will stop it on the one frame until an action happens. So trial enter. So it's not doing that anymore. Play. So I can go over this and nothing happens. I hit that and it's suddenly up in the top corner. I'm going through, going through the maze, going through the maze, blah, 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 blah. Hit the wall, you lost, try again. Okay. And when, I hope I don't stuff this up. Um, so when you get to the end of the maze and you go over it, you won, play again, takes you back to the front page. So, just like that, very simple, very easy little game. And that will take us to the end of this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll, I'll try to get the next video out as soon as I can. And speaking of the next tutorial, uh, that one will be split into two parts, as it will contain um, a bigger game. So, again, again yes, it is another game, but... Um, it is like a platform-based game. 
Um, and it's going to be a, a lot... Ugh, again with this, every time. Jeez. Um, <laughs> um, where was I? Um, it says, um, the scripting on it is a lot bigger, so instead of just being uh, this three-line simple code, it'll be like 30 lines, something like that. But um, you don't need to worry about that because I will provide all the scripting in the um, in the um, in the description box below that. So that's what will be happening for the next two videos. So thank you for watching.